know what? This road is really fun when you don't have some motherfucker up ahead going 40 miles an hour. What's up, riders? So today, just want to have a little short talk, kind of set the record straight. Well, I wouldn't say set the record straight. There's no really record to set straight. Um, I just wanted to make some comments uh, on some of the comments that uh, I get on these videos of mine. So let's start off with probably the, the biggest comment that I get and that is on my easy moto vlog setup, you know, where I show the GoPro Hero 8 media mod configuration, which I think, well, actually, I think a lot of people have act, are, are using. But I want to address something. I totally understand that the Hero 8 is not waterproof in the media mod. You have to take the fucking door off. Of course it's not waterproof. It's not going to work in the rain. Um, so the first 10 people that commented on that, thank you for that. Uh, the remaining 20 of you who I've deleted your comment, you know who you are. Uh, I, I just didn't bother putting it. It's like, yeah, we know. Uh, I have even had people ask if it's waterproof and I've replied to the comment, no, it's not waterproof. You cannot use the media mod in the rain, period. Uh, the next thing I want to address is this little blue light right here that so many European riders yell at me about. I don't even say yell, I mean, you know, you're typing text, so I don't know if you're yelling. But it is kind of funny because everybody goes, why do you drive around with your bright lights on? Well, there's two reasons. First reason is, you can see over here, bright is uh, up, uh, non-bright is down well when I'm over here uh, and I'm going like this and grabbing my lever I always hit this thing so like I'll be I'll have my hand on my on my lap and I'll go to grab it and I'll hit it and it'll go into bright got it so that happens all the time but the second thing is, during the daytime, I'm gonna ride around with my bright light on anyway, because number one, a cop is not gonna know I've got my brights on. Uh, and second of all, my brights on during the day aren't going to disrupt any, any car drive, any drivers that are in front of me or coming the opposite direction of me because it's freaking daylight out, right? Now, when I ride at night, do I drive around with the brights on? absolutely not that would be a total dick move and you know I don't want to blind somebody and cause an accident I get a lot of uh, comments uh, some people send me messages on Instagram um, that I bought the same setup that you got and mine doesn't work so I've had three people this happened to two of those three people uh, one of them after I gave some suggestions I said well it could be the fact that you're using a TRRS adapter. That's the male connector with the three black rings around it. That will not work in the back of the media mod. And I apologize if that wasn't clarified enough in the uh, Easy Moto Vlog video. It is now. Uh, so usually I'll say, put the adapter, get a, get a TRS adapter with the two ring male, plug your TRRS in there and you should be good to go. That helped uh, one person. The second person I gave that suggestion to, when they went and I think they did that, they realized that they hadn't seated the three and a half millimeter male end all the way into the media mod. So, and, and you know what? That is a great tip because um, I've, I had that happen to me a couple times in the beginning. Um, you know, after I had done all the videos, of course, and stuff, but uh, don't you turn, bitch, don't you turn. Um, so I did that, and, uh, you know, and I'm like, what the hell, it's, it broke. And then I realized that, man, yeah, you gotta kind of just pop it, that last little one millimeter. You just gotta sometimes, you know, put a little elbow grease into it and, and seat it into the, the media mod. So 
The other thing you need to check is the GoPro Audio Hero 8 audio settings themselves. Make sure that when you have the microphone plugged in, that the ability to change from the front to the rear, you know, in the audio settings and all that, make sure that's all grayed out. Because if it's not grayed out, then the camera is not recognizing the external uh, three and a half millimeter male end, and it's using the media mod microphones. The other thing, uh, a lot of people say, oh, I get a lot of wind noise, even with the, the microphone put in. So, three things to do. I was getting wind bleed as well, and I could not for the life of me figure out where it was coming from. So, just for shits and giggles, I took some electrical tape, and I completely covered the media mod microphones. Guess what? It didn't do anything. So I figured, all right, well, I don't think it's coming from there. Uh, for days and days and days and days, it drove me crazy. Sometimes it was there, sometimes it wasn't there. Lo and behold, what did I find? Oh yeah, there's the little condenser mic on the front of the Hero 8, right underneath the, uh, the camera lens. Well, guess what? I put some electrical tape over that, and I have yet to have any wind bleed uh, anymore. It just went away. Now, another cause for wind bleed could be the shitty microphone that you bought uh, if you're uh, using something even cheaper than the, the Purple Panda. I mean, the Purple Panda is a cheap mic, guys. Let's just face it. Uh, it's uh, friggin' $35. I know, I know it's gone up a little bit because they've become more popular. But, uh, you know, the microphone itself uh, could be shitty. And those little foam windscreens, guess what? They don't do anything. Uh, especially if you're driving 55 plus miles an hour, that little foam windscreen is not gonna do anything for the wind. You need to get yourself a dead cat. What's a dead cat? A dead cat is a fuzzy thing that, it's like a fuzzy microphone windscreen cover. You can get them on Amazon, they're super cheap. You can buy like a five pack of them. Uh, you're gonna need one of those. Uh, especially if you have a shitty helmet. So, for those who cheaped out on a helmet and went for that $125, uh, you know, Chinese special because you didn't want to fork over three, four hundred bucks for a real helmet, yeah, I'm calling you out. Uh, those helmets are noisy uh, and they let a lot of airflow in. And the more airflow you have, well, guess what? The more wind noise you're going to have. The more wind noise you're going to have, the noisier your microphone's going to be. So uh, I, I've got a showy uh, RF-1200. Uh, it's a quiet helmet. And the other thing that's cool about it is it comes with a chin skirt. So for those who don't know what a chin skirt is, new riders, uh, vets, veteran riders, you guys know what a chin skirt is. Um, try and find a chin skirt. If your helmet doesn't come with a chin skirt, try and get one. Uh, this helmet came with a chin skirt and you know what it's awesome Ooh. get the chin skirt really helps uh it especially if your microphone is mounted in front right in front of your mouth or off to the side uh you know the chin skirt's gonna cut down on a lot of that stuff oh great i get to follow a fucking trailer we're not doing this nope we're passing this guy so uh mic placement that's another big one um if you have your mic low, like down towards your chin, uh, there's gonna be more wind noise back there, right? Uh, if you have it directly in front of your mouth, you're gonna get some popping from your voice. I had this problem on a couple of videos. Uh, right on. Uh, the reason for that is simply the mic placement. Now I've placed the mic off to the side um, and kind of pointing forward a little bit. Uh, that way it picks up my voice bouncing off of the, uh, the chin of the helmet. And, uh, but it doesn't pop out. Uh, and if it does get a little amplified at times, I can get in there and edit it out. So, you know, that's another pro tip for you. Make sure your mic, try different mic positions. Uh, you know, because sometimes if it's just right in front, you might get distortion. So these are all big factors that, uh, that you can, uh, you know, take into account uh, for getting your, your moto blocking setup uh, connected right, uh, especially if you're doing the one that I, I did the video on.
So I think that's about it, guys. Uh, those are pretty much the most repeated uh, comments that I get from everybody. Uh, and again, look, I don't want you guys to think that I'm like annoyed with the fact that people repeat comments and everything. Not at all. If I, if I was annoyed, I wouldn't respond to the repeated comments. So that's about all I got for uh, today's moto vlog. I'm gonna hopefully be able to get more speed on this twisty road, but uh, it is Sunday and uh, we have a lot of Sunday drivers out. But uh, thanks for watching. Ride safe out there, guys. Uh, more vids on the way. Just keep an eye out for them. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like this channel. Uh, it keeps me motivated on doing videos, so ride safe. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.